B-Wind Wind Turbines. The creators aptly named this turbine the Evolution of Wind, and for good reason. This turbine stands out for its departure from conventional wind turbine designs. The key difference lies in its groundbreaking two-axis configuration featuring a specially designed rotor and strategically spaced blades for optimized efficiency. Thanks to its unique design, this turbine is tailor-made for urban living. It's significantly quieter than the traditional models, and installing it's a breeze. Just place it on the roof and connect it to an inverter or generator. Plus, it can start generating free energy at a low wind speed of just 7.5 miles per hour, making it ideal for homes surrounded by other buildings where the wind might not blow as strongly. The turbine's power output isn't massive, generating approximately 2 to 5 kilowatts of electricity or an average of 6,000 to 9,000 kilowatts per year, depending on the model, yet it's enough for running a few common household devices. Thermal Collector Harnessing the power of sunlight can make your home self-sufficient in heating. You can simply install a solar collector to achieve this. If your house roof or balcony permits, you can easily set up multiple solar collectors. The installation process is simple and doesn't require advanced tools. The key is getting them onto the roof, which might need some help due to the weight of each collector. These devices, much like solar panels, work in a very similar fashion. They gather solar energy by heating up a fluid inside, which could be water, a special liquid, or air. Once the fluid's warmed up, it moves into the heating system, effectively making your home warmer. If air is used as the heat carrier, it effortlessly circulates warmth inside the house. The best part is that the heating is entirely cost-free, saving you from worrying about hefty winter bills. However, to make the house autonomous in terms of heating, you need to pay for the collectors. It's difficult to name the exact cost since it can vary depending on the manufacturer of the devices. Generon Say goodbye to the days of unappealing solar panels. Tehran's solar roof tiles bring a modern and attractive twist to harnessing solar power. From the outside, it seems like a regular roof that only true specialists can tell apart. Every detail is well-coordinated, creating a seamless and attractive appearance. The only downside might be if the roofing isn't fully covered, which makes it look less perfect, but still better than traditional solar panels. When it comes to installing the panels, it's just like putting up regular tiles. Just remember, you'll be handling elements that weigh around 13 pounds each on the roof. The main difference in installing solar tiles compared to conventional ones is the need to connect them to your house's electrical grid. It's important for these tiles to do more than just cover the roof. They actually generate the energy needed to power the house independently. Each tile produces a peak power of 15.5 watts, adding up to a substantial amount of energy to run different appliances without relying on the main power grid. SaveMax Solar Water Heaters With SaveMax solar devices, you won't have to rely on electric water heating anymore. The sun takes care of everything. For those who prefer not having the water storage inside, the first heater option is perfect. It features a bucket located outside holding liquid that circulates through pipes and gets heated by the sun. Keep in mind, though, that the system's weight can vary from 330 to 1,543 pounds depending on its size. This means you'll need to ensure your roof can accommodate its weight. If you go for the second choice, you won't have to use any bucket collectors. Instead, water is drawn from an indoor reservoir, then warmed in the collector tubes before being directed to the heating or plumbing system. Not only do you avoid the hassle of lugging a large bucket onto the roof, but these systems also prove more resilient to colder temperatures outdoors. Regardless of whether there's a barrel or not, the system remains equally efficient. It heats water in the same manner, making it a great choice for those aiming to live off-grid. Archimedes Wind Turbine 
Archimedes' company claims that this turbine can harness 80% of its maximum theoretical energy, a statement that may seem like a marketing ploy but actually has a reasonable explanation. The magic behind its exceptional energy production lies in its unique design. The innovation in the 5-foot turbine, shaped like a nautilus shell, minimizes mechanical resistance, enabling it to rotate freely and achieve remarkable performance in generating energy. The inventors mentioned that the turbine can generate around 1,500 kilowatt-hours of energy annually when the wind blows at 11 miles per hour. Interestingly, this is equivalent to half the energy used by an average household. Aside from remarkable efficiency, the inventors claim that the Archimedes wind turbine is designed to be exceptionally quiet. If this is the case, this turbine could serve as a perfect solution for harvesting energy in urban settings, offering a more user-friendly alternative to conventional wind turbines. Those who love living off-grid will find another reason to be happy. The turbine is effortlessly transportable and easy to install. Weighing in at only 165 pounds, just a couple of people can easily move it, and it fits comfortably in a car. Naturally, the top-notch features given to the turbine by its creators make it a bit pricey at $5,450. However, if the claimed power output is real, this Archimedes turbine has the potential to recoup its cost quite rapidly. Velix Sun Tunnel People aim to reduce their electricity usage, but with numerous household appliances and lighting, it's not always easy. Yet, there's a simple solution. Switch to Velux solar tubes and cut down on traditional light bulb use. When you glimpse them on the roof, it's not immediately clear what they are. The visible portion resembles a glass dome, but it serves as the central element of a solar tunnel. This enclosed glass hemisphere is designed to exclusively allow sunlight into the house, keeping everything else out. As sunlight enters the system, it travels through the reflective pipe, creating a solar lamp for your home. You can place it anywhere, but it's recommended to put it where the light can spread across a larger area. Setting up a solar lighting system can be quite a task, involving installation work both inside the house and on the roof, ideally it's best to install the system during the construction phase of the house, which can save you time, nerves, and money. This solar lighting setup is a must-have for any self-sufficient home, yet it's important to note that solar tubes can't fully replace traditional lighting since they don't work at night. For evening hours, you're still going to rely on electricity. Solar Mill Windstream Energy Technologies appears to have discovered a great way to make homes more self-sufficient. The idea is simple. They've taken vertical axis wind turbines and added solar panels to them. Essentially, it's a system that generates energy efficiently under almost any weather conditions. The least effective period for these devices is during calm nights when wind speeds drop below 4.5 miles per hour, although such conditions are rare. The energy output depends on the model. Take a 4 kilowatt system versus a 5 kilowatt system. You'll notice a difference in appearance. The power output depends on the number of solar panels and wind turbines in the setup. These devices are customizable and can be assembled with modules to produce the exact amount of energy needed. Whirlybird while it may not look like your typical wind turbine, this gadget offers a unique way to cut down on your energy expenses. Whirlybird doesn't harness free energy, it ventilates your home independently of the electrical grid using wind alone. Its unique design, featuring special fins that catch the wind and rotate, promotes air circulation, naturally cooling the room without the need for electricity. The Whirlybird functions almost silently thanks to its design that ensures sound is only produced in case of a breakdown. This property makes it perfect for people to accustomed to the noise of conventional air conditioners and ventilation systems, offering a welcome break for their ears. By the way, the Whirlybird breakdown is a rare event, usually happening after a long period of use. You don't need to stress about the weather or accidental impacts because it's made of an all-aluminum structure. It can handle wind well, just stay below 110 miles per hour. Anything beyond that, your Whirlybird might get torn off from the roof. A design as simple as this one is also incredibly easy to install. However, it's typically best to set it up during home building, not everyone feels comfortable making a special opening in a completed roof. Moreover, if the hole is made incorrectly, it could result in moisture entering the room, leaving you without proper ventilation.
If you prefer designs that seamlessly integrate with the building's aesthetics and don't draw too much attention, here's an option for you. These not only look like a natural extension, but also function well without needing electricity. Stormline if you want to make your house fully autonomous, one of the most important things you need to do is install a system that allows you to collect rainwater. Thankfully, the installation process is straightforward and doesn't require special expertise, a number of tools, or extensive time. The biggest challenge here is ensuring safe access to the roof. Such a system certainly needs to be robust, especially since rain often comes with strong winds. It also has to handle the pressure from the rainwater, which is why using plastic or metal is essential. Plastic is the preferred option, being both cost-effective and durable, with the added benefit of corrosion resistance and no reactions with water. In addition, the rainwater collection system can be customized with safeguards against debris, including filters and other protective elements. Its adaptability makes it a versatile choice for different situations. Ridge Vent Here's another way you can set up ventilation without the need for electricity. Metallic Products Ventilation System is positioned at the heart of buildings sporting metal roofs. Its clever design lets air circulate freely without compromising the room's seal. Meanwhile, it keeps out rain, wind, birds, and other uninvited visitors. Here's how the temperature control works in rooms with Metallic Products devices. As the air warms up, it naturally rises and exits through the ventilation system, cooling the room down and carrying away any impurities in the air just basic physics in action. Setting up the ventilation system will take some effort though. First, you need to take the ventilation system parts up to the roof, then you'll prepare the surface and proceed with installing the ventilation. This means you'll be working both on the roof and underneath it. When picking out ventilation from metallic products, it's essential to put some thought into the style. If looks matter a lot, you should consider low profile choices. For larger rooms, it's a good idea to consult with the manufacturer to find the perfect fit. You also get to choose from various sizes, thicknesses, shapes, and even colors. Plus, there are options with a transparent cap to let in natural light. Snow Defender Many people tend to forget that autonomy goes beyond having free water and electricity. It's also about feeling safe. A prime example is being protected from snow. These are small devices that come in different shapes and sizes. You may not even notice them, but they perform a very important function. They hold the snow on the roof, not allowing it to slide down. What does autonomy have to do with it? Once you've got a couple of these devices, there's no need to bother with calling in special services to tidy up your roof. It's a cost-effective solution, and your roof itself becomes a protector for everyone. This is crucial, especially since snow has a habit of unexpectedly landing on your head. This device is about as simple as they come, which makes installing it a piece of cake. Though the trickiest part is getting up on the roof. Devices like these are a dream for people who want to avoid maintenance headaches. These roof snow guards made from stainless steel can handle any weather condition, suffering damage only if subjected to serious physical force. Rooftop Farm Complete autonomy at home isn't possible without a self-sufficient food source. Luckily, some homes with flat roofs offer the perfect space to create your own little farm. To begin with, it's important to make sure that the roof can handle such a farm. Concrete and stone roofs commonly found on urban high-rise buildings are the most reliable options. While roofs of private houses may not always be suitable, it doesn't hurt to check with builders. You never know, you might be in luck. One approach to rooftop farming is recreating the farms we see on the ground. This would mean placing a massive amount of soil on the roof, creating beds and planting crops. While intriguing, this method offers no protection from weather conditions, and the idea of hauling tons of soil onto the roof might not seem practical to everyone. The second approach is to set up greenhouses, which proves more efficient since plants can thrive regardless of external conditions. However, greenhouses offer limited space for planting compared to open roof setups with soil, and of course investing in greenhouses requires a significant expense for the structures, fixtures, and materials for specialized beds. Another option is to make animal pens. Imagine a rooftop farm that includes greenhouses, traditional garden beds, and areas for animals. The possibilities for rooftop farming are only limited by human creativity and the available space.
imagine putting a bunch of barrels on the roof. Not for collecting rainwater, though. Picture it as a rooftop farm where algae can thrive. This sort of farm could not only solve food problems, but also provide a sustainable source of fuel. 